Have you ever wondered what sets Midjourney version 6 apart from version 5.2? Let's dive right in and discover the upgrades. Delving into version 6.0, the first thing you'll notice is the leap in realism. The images are sharper, more detailed and the textures are significantly less artificial. This means more professional and engaging visuals for your website, social media or e-commerce platform. So we'll do a test with a few prompts that are tailored to version 5.2 versus V6. The change log here of the newest version is surprising because it's not just minor changes, it's quite huge changes here. Much more accurate prompts following as well as longer prompts. It has improved coherence and model knowledge, improved image prompting and remix mode. And remix mode means that you can change an image into an illustration. You can ask Midjourney to create an image that is photorealistic and ask Midjourney afterwards to change that into a scene from a, for instance, Disney movie. That's remix mode. Minor text drawing ability which is huge. If you've ever tried to create text in Midjourney or Wonder or whatever uh, AI image generation tool, you will have noticed that it always messes up text. There are a lot of artifacts. Some letters are unrecognizable. It does not understand or didn't understand words. Of course, it still doesn't really understand words, but what it does understand is that if something now is in quotations, now it can use those letters and the combination of letters in the actual image. Minor text drawing ability, you must write your text in quotations. Improved upscalers with both subtle and creative modes. It still, of course, supports aspect ratio, chaos, weird tile, stylized, style raw, very subtle, remix, etc. These features are not yet supported, but should come in the coming month. Pan, zoom, vary by region, tune, describe. Prompting with V6 is significantly different than V5. That means that you'll have to relearn how to prompt. I've been using 5.2 and the previous versions for quite a while, and I could pretty much do anything and everything with the tool. But now I have to relearn how to prompt. Midjourney V6 is much more sensitive to your prompts. I added quite a few words that it now considers junk, like award-winning, photorealistic, ultra-realistic. All those additions are now considered junk. It's now important to be very explicit about what you want. It says here, speed and image quality, coherence, prompt following, etc., etc. It should all improve over the next few weeks. And it says V6 is slower and more expensive versus V5.2, which is interesting because my first experience is that V6 is much faster. So the prompts that I've been using to test it, rendered and generated much faster than the V5.2. But in this video, we could actually test that. Community standards, it can generate much more realistic imagery than anything the dev team released before and it means that they will enforce the community standards with increased strictness and rigor don't be a jerk or create images to cause drama so that's it let's put it to the test with these prompts cinematic photo of a young woman surprised expression phantom height speed camera sun ray shadow play ultra realistic detailed face aspect ratio 16 by 9 and version 5.2 if we would enter this if we would use this in v6 we can leave out what they call junk so this is v5.2 and this is v6.0 and for version 6.0 it would be cinematic photo of a young woman surprised expression phantom high speed camera sun rays shadow play detailed face aspect ratio 16 by 9 v6.0 so this is version 5.2 one two three four and i really like the lighting in this image so I'll upscale, I also, by the way, like this one. I'll first upscale number four. There we go. This is version 5.2. Let's take the same prompt, adjust it slightly for version six, and let's track how long it takes. V6.0, 50 seconds. And this is what V6.0 came up with. You see that there's a lot more focus on this word, sun rays, shadow play. Of course it is here, but it's very dimly lit. It looks like there's a diffuser on her face, diffusing the light. And here are the images from 6.0. This one looks very fake. I'm not really sure what this effect is here. This looks beautiful, very natural. This is almost like God rays. Don't really like this one. The only one that I really find impressive is number one. So let's upscale number one. 
here we go. The texture looks really nice and also the light on her face looks really, really nice. But I think Mid Journey 6.0 can do better. So what I'll do is I will run it again. Of course, we cannot debate around the personal taste in style of photography. But what we can agree on is that this has a lot more detail and better textures than this. This is very cinematic, but it misses a lot of the detail that you can see in these images. 78%. And here's the result. This looks really fake. This one is beautiful. This one is beautiful. I will try one more time to see if we can get an even better outcome. In the meantime, I will also upscale this one, number four. Here's the result. This is actually underwater. You can see some air bubbles here, but looks to be underwater. This is actually beautiful. These all could be scenes from a movie. Look at the detail here in her skin, but this one is extremely impressive. So let's upscale number two. Okay, let's take the next one. What we'll do is we'll take this prompt here. Close up of Aloy from Horizon Zero Dawn, reimagined war paint, determined expression. And we'll of course add this because this aspect ratio 16 by nine gives the best result for a YouTube thumbnail. So we start with imagine and we start with version 5.2. And now we will track how long it takes the version 5.2 to generate an image. And now you see at 93%, you can clearly see the war paint coming through. It took about one minute and five seconds. I really like all these images, but this one is spectacular. And this one is also fantastic. Just look at the detail. And by the way, this is version 5.2. This is not even version six. This is incredible. Okay, let's do that again. And now with version six, V6.0. Let's reset the timer and see how long it takes. And to give you a bit of background, not everyone watching this video will like video games. Horizon Zero Dawn is a game made by Guerrilla, but the style, the visual style of that game is really impressive. And the description seems to be right because this took one minute and about 15 seconds and 5.2 was slightly faster. This one is really nice. Now, all of them are extremely cool, but this one is striking, but I really like the contrast of this one. This is overall a bit darker, but look at her skin. The war paint is dried up here. It's a, uh, it now looks like powder. So I'll upscale number two. Just look at this, look at the eyes. Impressive, really beautiful. Okay, let's also upscale number one. And here's number one. The texture here around her eyes, look at this. It looks much better than the previous version. Also this here, the small blood vessels in her eye look extremely realistic. The individual detail of the hairs, impressive stuff. Let's do the third one, which is a man. Post-apocalyptic setting, reminiscent of the world of Mad Max Beyond Thunderdome, warrior, makeshift gear and weaponry. And what I will do, I will add this part here. Aspect ratio, 16 by nine. And of course we start with version 5.2. There we go. The one that I like most is number two. So upscale number two, especially this bit here looks strange. It looks a bit artifacty. There also seems to be something wrong with the hands here. They're way too thick. And I know there are gloves here, but this hand compared to this one, it doesn't look okay. So skip this one and I'll take this one instead. Looks much better. If you now take the same prompt, but now for version 6.0, so this was 5.2 here. Now it's 6.0. Let's see what Mid Journey comes up with. And it's done. This could be a video game, but this one is extremely impressive. Number three. I also like number four. Upscaling number three, and here we go. This is Mid Journey 6.0. Impressive stuff. So summarizing, 6.0 seems to be more detailed than 5.2. That's number one. I was already extremely impressed with version 5.2, but this seems to be even better than that. Number two, yes, it is slightly slower. So that means that it takes a few more seconds to generate an image in version six versus the 5.2 version, but really it's just seconds. In this demonstration, it is very difficult to judge if version 6.0 understands us better than 5.2. I do like the output and it's certainly even more impressive than 5.2. And it could be that that's exactly the reason why 6.0 looks better than 5.2, that it understands my prompt better. So from now on, every image that I create for my videos will be done in 6.0 until they release the next version. Thanks for tuning in. Your support means the world to us. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more content. It really helps the channel grow. Continue to push your boundaries and I'll see you in the next video.